Good morning to you. This is Mark Suddeth, and here's what's up in the tropics for Thursday, June the 2nd, 2022. Obviously, the big story is Invest Area 91L, situated now close to the Yucatan, trying to get better organized. 80% chance now that this goes on to develop further and head off to the northeast, affecting western Cuba. Southern Florida with a lot of heavy rain. I don't see this becoming a major wind and surge event. This is going to be more of a big rainmaker, and we do need to address that. And I'll do that in the Hurricane Outlook and Discussion video in greater detail later today. That yellow area that you see, don't worry about it. National Hurricane Center indicating 0% chance of development with that. So no worries there. The rest of the tropics nice and quiet, as we would expect this time of year. Satellite animation from this morning showing pretty deep convection. That's thunderstorm activity. Those pink areas that you see bubbling up. This is trying to get better organized, but upper level winds and the proximity of some fairly dry mid-level air will help to keep this system in check. Again, more of a rainmaker, and that is a big deal. We don't want to de-emphasize that, uh, but the surge and wind threat I don't think is going to be a real big problem. Maybe some squally conditions as this approaches South Florida this weekend, uh, but the rain is going to be excessive, and we do need to make sure we take that into consideration. Intensity guidance for the wind uh, mostly flat overall in even the usually aggressive H wharf. That's the pink line that you see there that says HWFI. That's the outlier here showing about a 50 knot tropical storm or about 60 miles per hour. That's not impossible, but the rest of the guidance generally pretty flat showing a tropical depression to very low end tropical storm as this approaches Florida. All right, that's it from me. Again, I am Mark Sutter. Thanks for tuning in. I'll have more for you tomorrow morning.